our dear listeners, this is Julius uh, from Enid Farms Limited. Uh, today I want to uh, encourage you members and advise all of you uh, on the importance of uh, the planning aspects of our farms. Uh, most of us have started farms out of passion uh, without that element of planning. Uh, but I want to reiterate the importance of planning and the recognition that we always make with uh, the crowd farms that we create around the globe. Because we have uh, farms across Africa apparently that we are working with and managing. So I want to emphasize the importance of this uh, planning. Yeah, because uh, once you plan your farm, uh, you will know what infrastructure you need, for instance, that fits in the resources you have, or that fits in the vision that you have. Planning is in two ways. You can plan according to the resources you have, but you can also plan according to the vision uh, of the farm and what you envisage uh, to get. So once we look at uh, your vision, and the factors of production that are available in terms of land, then we shall advise you on how many uh, goods that you can start with, uh, not compromising the business of, uh, of the goat farm. So uh, once we look at all these factors of production, the land, uh, access to water, if you do not have water, then we want to know can we uh, do rainwater harvesting, can we do an underground well, uh, and at the end of the day, also look at other uh, aspects in terms of value addition. Uh, look at the grid lines, are they close? Or are we going to plan for solar, for instance, at the end of the day? And uh, most importantly, uh, is that the plan also comes with the pastures flooding. Pastures are a very big component of any farm. You don't want to stock animals before you set up uh, the necessary pastures that are required for the farm to grow, but also to have uh, a substantive uh, weight gains that are required. Because uh, the pasture strategy uh, contains different pastures with different nutrients that at the end of the day uh, tantamount to the growth rates of uh, your animals. So the plan comes with a pasture uh, attached, uh, at, uh, of course, in line with the land size that you have. In addition to this, uh, it comes with a cost analysis. A cost analysis is uh, uh, an Excel sheet that will have uh, what you need to put in, customized to what we find at the farm, and also it has uh, of course, inflows and outflows for the next three years. Once you start today, then you need to see how much are you going to put in and wha how much do you expect. On worst case scenarios, because uh, this cost analysis looks at uh, a goat producing only a single kid, yet considering best standards, uh, the goat will even produce uh, more than one but it is based on the worst case scenario. Also considering the pregnancy rate at 90%, yes, it can be 100. And the mortality uh, of uh, animals to be at 10%, because these animals are not immortal. So at the end of the day, you have an idea of uh, what you are going into, and you are not going to make very many mistakes. And uniquely, is uh, once we start this journey together, we give you uh, a technical supervisor to journey with you for three years. And this is to look at uh, the action plan that we have set to ensure that it is being implemented as uh, required. And this uh, helps us to do the technical backstopping and, uh, of course, limit any other mortality that could happen out of the we have done the studies, we have done the learning for you, and so once we engage, it is purely business uh, going forward. Uh, uniquely, again, uh, this whole process 
gives you uh, access uh, of course to a layout plan. Uh, of course you may have a plan to uh, add value on farm, but you are not starting with this. You may plan to carry out trainings at the farm, but this is not going to start in the first year. But you need to gazette a place where trainings will be carried forward in case you want to have uh, agro-tourism uh, aspects, any value addition area, machine area, I think value. This is also uh, something that we consider. So at the end of the day, we are giving you uh, a layout plan uh, that is going to be implemented incrementally. Of course, following the nitty gritties. first things first, uh, but having this bigger vision of your farm going forward so that it is implemented uh, chronologically. So I want to encourage you farmers not to make mistakes, to start uh, any farm without uh, planning, because planning will help you to uh, reduce unnecessary costs uh, that would otherwise be avoided because, uh, in planning. That is why we also consider the number of animals that you start with. So you do not overstock, but also you do not understock uh, based on uh, the factors we have spoken about previously, considering the worker ratio to animal ratio, considering the vaccine to uh, animal ratio, and considering uh, other factors, the back to door ratio. Uh, ensure that really you are making business at the end of the day. So reach out to us, let us have your farms planted so that uh, we can grow together, collectively market, but most importantly, uh, have farms that are sustainable and that can sustain themselves, uh, not having to dig deep from the proprietor's pockets every now and then. Thank you so much for listening, subscribe to our channels and uh, make sure that you do not uh, miss a video or two. Uh, uniquely we also normally stock uh, milk bricks, this is a cross of a token bag and uh, this is because uh, we want the animals to have uh, enough milk, especially if the meat breeds. Uh, cannot sustain uh, the offsprings that are produced two or three or if uh, any animal uh, dies when it is giving birth at least some of these milk breeds uh, sustain uh, the animals to survive they are always thin because they are uh, their, their, their energy goes into milk production so they will not grow uh, fat like you see the meat breeds. So they are purposely uh, breeded for uh, for milk. So I encourage you farmers to reach out to us so that we draw for you strategic plans that will last for generations. Thank you so much for listening to me. Julius again, Manit Farm.